Hello everybody and welcome to the very first video of the 2014-2015 school year and this one pertains to setting up your notebook. So in my Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 classes I am going to require you to bring two things to keep organized. One is a two pocket folder and here is my Algebra 2 two pocket folder and in this folder you're going to keep things like tests and quizzes and larger things that you need to take home uh, to your parents like this uh, first day letter and then also things that you need to put into your composition book in case you didn't have time to do it in class and that's one thing that's required the second thing of course is the composition book itself and this composition book is going to hold all of your course material all of the handouts that I will give you that I want in your comp book will be printed out on little half sheets and when I put them on the website, when you print them out on your own or on a school computer, they're going to print out as little half sheets. And so classwork, notes, homework, everything but tests and quizzes are going to go into this little notebook because I want everything to be like small and organized for you for say final exam time. You have everything in one place. Now of course if you lose this notebook, that's bad. Um, you're going to be taking this notebook to and from home. If you are afraid you're going to lose it, um, what you can always do is keep it in class. I'll have a little milk crate for you, but then you have to remember that if you take notes at home on separate paper, when you come to class, you're going to have to put it into your composition book because I will be periodically picking up these composition books to make sure they have everything they need to have in them and they are secure and you are organized and I will take a grade on it. And when I say secure, I mean your comp book has to pass the shake test. So if I turn it upside down and I shake it, no paper better fall out. Everything has to be secure either by glue or by tape. Okay, so these composition books are super important. Now we're going to use the Algebra 1 notebook or my Algebra 1 notebook to show you what, how I need you to set this up. I will be keeping a notebook along with you that is like my teacher version that has my teacher notes and my answer keys and all that kind of stuff in there. So it's not like you're doing this on your own. I'm doing it too. Okay, so first things first. Make sure your name and the course is somewhere on the front. I chose a composition book with a white spine so that I can write this on. You can accomplish this effect by using tape and paper. Uh, most composition books, of course, will have a little bitty plate on the front and you put your name on it. Don't use pencil though because pencil's not going to show up really well. You use a Sharpie, and if you don't have any at home, I have some in class for you to use. And last year, one of my students did something I thought was ingenious, which made it really easy for her to pick it up after I graded them. And she wrote her name in marker along the, the pages right here. Like she, just, she just held it tight, and then she wrote her name along the top. And I also wrote my name along the side, so when they're all stacked up in the milk crate, you can just find your name and pull it out and get it. So I suggest you do that just because it's easy for future reference. All right, so the very first page of your composition book will be your title page. You will put the course, Algebra 1 or Algebra 2. I put Algebra 1 notebook. Um, I put the school year, 2014, 2015, and then your name. So you have to do something similar. Title, school year, name. Now, my this is my Algebra 1 teacher one. So as I said, it has my notes in there. So this little post-it note has a teacher note to me, and this little flag has a little reminder for me to do something. And feel free to jazz up your notebook and personalize it as much as you want. If you want to do, you know, little inserts that open up or make little booklets or little foldy things or little flags like I have, uh, feel free. Or you can just do bare minimum and keep all your stuff in there and make sure it's secure. So I have my pages numbered. You are, you are also expected to have your pages numbered. So page one, page two, page three. And on page three is where I start my table of contents. Label it table of contents, get a ruler, make two vertical bars to separate out date, title, and page number. Okay, and I've already have the first four things uh, that we're going to be putting in to our notebooks already labeled in here. And I have a college ruled um, composition book and I write kind of small so I just saved one sheet of paper front and back to be my table of contents. If you write bigger or have a wide rule comp book you might want to use more than one page and if you actually need more pages in the future we can figure out ways to put new pages in alright so the first thing you're gonna stick in your composition book is the course information packet 
and it is six of these little half sheets. It has all of the course information in there. It has like grading policy, makeup work, late work, all that kind of stuff. An office hours website address. And you just make sure it's secure in there, right? And it's several pages long. And I've put little flags, see a little flag to remind me of something. And I've highlighted things that I want to note to you guys or things that are important that you want to remember. And as you and your parent go through the course information packet, the first week of school and you put it in there, you can do the same thing. You can highlight important things like how you're going to be graded and, um, you know, when to drop the class and what star exam you have to take. So that's the first section is your course information. Now the second entry in your notebook is the calendar for the first six weeks. So this is the tentative course calendar for the first six weeks. It tells you what we're doing in class every day and it lists the dates of the unit test. It does not list quiz dates but it will list the test dates and I have placed a little flag on mine so that in the future if I need to find my calendar I can just use that little flag and I have extra flags if you want a flag I can I can give you some um, so I, I'm gonna be flagging each six weeks calendar as we go so it's you know quickly I can flip through those and then we have this thing called think like a math, math genius and it's kind of like the guidelines of how mathematicians work and how you can become a better mathematician and that's kind of like our guiding principles as a math student. And then we have the very first in-class activity. So this is a problem set that you will be doing in groups, and I have mine. And this is multiple pages, and instead of using multiple pages, I just made it a little flip thing. So I just have the first page, and then the second page, and then little notes to myself underneath. And you can do that too, um, or you can just stick it in there and you know have a page for you to do work and then have the next page you can put it in there however you want as long as it's in there um, and then if I gave you a homework assignment then you're gonna stick that in here too and work the problems on the paper okay and so that's how this composition book is gonna work it's gonna have your um, class activities any homework is gonna be put in just like this if you take notes you're gonna take notes in here and all this really does is it forces you to put everything in a sequential order all right and so that's how you set up your notebook if you have any questions about it feel free to ask me in class and remember this is you know your notebook and you are going to use it and it's going to be a use super useful tool for you so uh, take care of it and make it your own